Hey there, burn victims. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 27 of Project Zomboid Guy on Fire. Air activity detected. I'm not going anywhere today. Well, shoot. Okay. Um. Is that the chopper already here? No. I don't think so. I'm not sure, though. Chopper day. Okay, so... Uh, gonna change of pace here because of chopper time? Alright, this water bottle is just gonna have all my farming stuff for now. I'm gonna run the risk of being seen so that I can remove the risk of being seen. Come on. What is going on? Uh, barricade? What, are you just magically unbarricadable? Hello? <laughs> Why can't I barricade you? Oh, the shovel's upstairs. Got it. Uh, oh my god, the hitboxes for these things is horrible. No, nope, don't fast forward time, that's a terrible idea. Stop it, guy. I'm trying not to piss off the chopper here. So the chopper could come at any time, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to... break, like, block the view? So I can, um... I can, uh... Stay here. Yeah, I think the rope's preventing the barricade. Alright, so three blocks view. I'm not going to go for four because it's unnecessary. And what I'm going to try to do is just do home improvement. So, uh, oh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. So, um... More or less all that I'm going to have left to do today is to do organization, because I'm going to be stuck inside. Or tailoring. Um, I guess I'll have you vote on what I do today. So, what to work on today? Decorating? Organizing? Tailoring? Or other... You suggest. In case I, like, forgot something. But there you go. And I'm going to reject the... So the farmer will come tomorrow. It's just been delayed because chopper. I think you all probably understand that. Um, let me see about that. Sh so you said the shovel was left up here? No, it isn't. All right. I'm officially inside. Uh, so another thing is where I'm going to put the sheet rope. I'll put the rope down in this corner, I think. Hope it's a good corner. So let's get smashing. So go destroy the floor. What is chopper day? So there's a chopper coming today, which means I should not be outside. I should stay inside and... Um, and not venture outside, because if I venture outside, I can piss off the chopper and then summon an absolute hellish swarm onto my head. Which would be unwise and uncool. So I know it looks a little odd, but it will be pretty functional. I'm just going to have, like, fences here, so that I don't fall in the hole. 
And there we go. I now have a way to get from floor two to floor one. That is zombie proof, but not guy proof. It also looks as if you guys want a little organizing. I'll give you another minute to vote, but that looks to be the most popular option by a long shot. The tribe has spoken. Yeah. I guess I'll start working on that. So in order to do some organization, uh, here's what I'm going to need. Metalwork for containers or crates is welding rods, metal pipes, metal sheets, large metal sheets, and scrap metal. I'm not entirely sure I have all those materials. So... Let me quickly, and this is obviously dangerous. Oh, don't do that. Obviously dangerous to do this with choppers, possibly. And coming in any moment, I'm going to grab some logs just in case I need to make temporary wooden storage because of my lack of materials for permanent storage. Also, at this point, it's entirely possible to barricade up this door uh, because I have other methods to get to this floor from outside. So I don't really need to do. Okay, organizing. So there's some scrap metal. And more scrap metal. Another thing I could do is to drag one of these... Um, I could drag one of the... Uh, the metal boxes that aren't really being utilized upstairs to start organizing. Okay, filing cabinets are gone. We have small metal sheet, scrap metal. So let's get everything I need for at least one box. And I'll start to set up maybe... Oh, there's the chopper. I'll start to set up a reading materials uh, container. Oh my god. It's a lot of stuff. Hey, nickname found. Thank you for the resub. Guys, trailer starting to look good? Ah, uh, roughly... It's rough right now. So here's the metal sheets. I already have the scrap metal. Sheet metal. Welding rods. And then I need a metal pipe. So my worry is that I'm just not going to have the metal pipe for this. Because I don't think that's something I had a lot of. No, I have a few. I hope that uh, all my windows are covered. Because uh, that'd be a real problem if they're not. Looks like uh, looks like my, my bases are covered here. So. Here we go. Metal crate. In this spot. Sweet. Actually, I want that metal crate in a different spot. put it here. So this is going to be reading materials. I'm going to have it near the bed. Why does the chopper not save me? Uh, because it probably thinks I'm infected. And it's trying to contain the virus. So it doesn't make sense to uh, help spread the virus through a helicopter. Alright, so now that I have that box built, I do have the materials to build other boxes, but right now I'm going to be just grabbing... Yeah, let me uh, expand this considerably. It will help out a lot. So let's grab the reading materials. And I'm probably going to put the magazines and leisure stuff separate. So here's literature. 
done. Yeah, it wouldn't really be safe for a chopper to, like, land either, because you're right. Uh, it attracts a lot of zombies, so... It's a zombie magnet. The moment they land, they're probably swarmed. And here's the skill books I have. I have quite a lot of skill books, so I need a lot of room for this stuff. So, just to remind everybody, the way the chopper works is... At 9 a.m., the radio updates for the new day, and then it will announce uh, whether or not you have a chopper incoming at every top of the hour after 9 a.m., and if it says air activity detected at any point, or really it's at the end of the radio, um, the radio broadcast, oh, I have a spare cooking book, so any duplicates that I have here I can throw out. Um, so at any point... You know, if it says air activity detected, that indicates that, uh, indeed, it is not safe to go out because you're going to have, you're going to be visited by a helicopter. And the way the helicopter works is if it sees you at any point when it's hovering, it follows you around out of sight. Obviously, it's above me, but it will follow you around and make a lot of noise, drawing a whole bunch of zombies to your location, which is super, super deadly, as you might imagine. Uh, so the, the way to deal with a helicopter is either A, to be on the road driving around so you can outrun the zombies, or on foot packed light so that you don't have to stop, or B, just to hide. So right now I'm hiding. Um, when the helicopter arrived I was indoors so it doesn't know where I am, and all it's doing right now is flying randomly. It, it, it's just circling willy nilly. And therefore, not drawing zombies specifically to my location, because it doesn't know where I am. But yeah, that's how that works. Oh, Zalek, you sent a surprise, did you? That you did. Thank you for the tip. Is there any uh, meaning to the, the, the amount that you tipped? Because it seems to be a uh, <laughs> an odd number. It's probably just like conversion fees or something, right? So one of the beautiful things of um, of the metal storage is it can hold up to 80 kilos. So I can have a lot of books in here. Do I play CDDA? I do not know. So that might be all of my literature. Uh, let's go ahead and get another box going. So for a second box... I need two sheets, or four sheets, one, oh, you know what, I'm not going to have the pipes. I've run out of metal pipes. So I think what I'll do instead is to start to drop things into piles for future organization, and I'm going to have to farm up metal pipes for the future. So what I'll do is I'll start a metal crafting pile here. And I really don't know where sheet ropes go. Like I'll just put them by tools, because I think of them as tools. But we'll start, like, organizing in piles so that once I have the materials for the remaining um, crates, it will be very, very easy. So right now... Oh, the son of Kenneth. Thanks for gifting out subs. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> I already have a kitchen, so I'm going to grab all the kitchen stuff and put it over in the kitchen. So anything that makes... Uh, dish towel, pen, rip sheets, that, that stuff I could throw out. Soap I should put near the kitchen, baking soda. And these metal sheets will go upstairs. Oh, I still have a lot more skill books unmoved. So I'm not really sure where the when the last chopper stops. But uh I would say I think after midnight is safe. I'd have to, I haven't looked at the code in a long time.
So for now, I'm just going to stuff everything vaguely related to cooking in these sh uh, in these boxes over here. And then at some point in the future, I can sort through them and make them make a little bit more sense. I will put soap underneath the sink, though. So if I'm trying to wash up, I can wash up quick. You watch a lot on the YouTubes? So you came in to show some support? Thank you. I appreciate it. I could put a lot of my tools away too. Lower my weight here. Because I'm no longer welding. So that might be the last time that chopper visits me. Or it might visit again. It's a little random. Um, I just don't want to push it. Ended up drawing the horde to me. Because at any point if it sees you, it, it's going to summon up hell. I would also say probably propane tanks are metalworking more than anything else. Metal bars are probably metalworking too. Using scrap metal to make pipes would be a, uh, a mod. Let's see here. Any more metalworking stuff in here? More gardening stuff that um that should be moved at some point. I guess screws are kind of metalworking. Welding rods definitely are. There's so many more books. The Curse of a Good Education. I don't read nearly as much as I should, but my wife owns so many boring workbooks. It's just disturbing. Welding rods are for welding. You can't really make anything out of metal without welding rods. Think of it as, um, I mean... When you're welding two things together, you have to melt some material onto the weld. That's like kind of like with electric uh, with circuitry, you have solder. For welding, you have welding rods. For MIG and TIG welding, yeah, I'm not sure about all welding. All right, what's left? More welding rods. More metal sheets. For stick welding, yeah. Uh, okay, I will move these seeds over because I know I'm going to be working on a farm tomorrow. Cutting board goes in the kitchen. Tin can goes in the trash. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. All the marine material will go upstairs. Why do I have a broken bone? Uh, that's just discomfort. It's from carrying too much weight and moving it around. It's not actually that I'm injured or anything like that. Just I've been walking around encumbered, so you take a little damage. Nothing, nothing serious. I did have a really nasty fall earlier. Um, not one that killed me or anything, but I was holding an antique stove and fell off the second story and smashed myself way good. But I haven't done that in a little while, thankfully. Yeah, moving around, moving around when you're really encumbered will do damage over time, but like, it never kills you. But it can definitely be a contributing factor to your death. I think I got all of my library in here. Look at this thing. Ooh, man. it's a lot of books. 
I haven't double checked, but I think it's just about every skill book for the basic skills, because I've found them all. I don't know if I've put them all in there. Wheelbarrows would be a wonderful thing to have in PC. Yeah, especially if you're trying to do a lot of earth moving. 100%, absolutely. Ooh. I have more welding stuff in my backpack. Okay, I think that's all the metalworking stuff in that corner. I'll put, uh... What's a big stack I have now? Let me grab all the VHS tapes and put them somewhere. I'll put them with the... Um, I'll, I'll put them with the reading materials. Bowl goes into the kitchen. What else? I don't know, man. There's so much stuff. I'm getting through it, though. The pile is not as big as it was. I, I could use a dumb waiter. Yeah, no kidding. I'd love a dumb waiter. I'd love, like, a pulley system in the game. That would be so cool. Alright, I have a duplicate cooking show. I can throw that out. I have a lot of exposure survival and, um... Yeah, I could, I could level up so much from books and tapes at this point. Hey, Jay Spear. Thanks for the sub. Put the TV in the bedroom. That's not a bad idea. Uh, just me. Don't tell Blockbuster I'm throwing out their tapes. The, the last Blockbuster that exists. The final block. Well, I guess in 1993, eh, that's a different matter. Has so guy is 85 pounds, so I'm gonna eat light tonight so that I can lose more weight because I'm excited about not being overweight for once So I'll eat some more mushroom soup it's Boring You too have been watching on YouTube a while Well cheers to that Here's to all the youtubers they're popping on in. Yeah, it's too bad that you can't have the little portable TVs. I remember, you know, obviously pre, um, pre smartphones, that the portable TVs were uh, quite the way to to watch on the go. Kind of a hilarious trend that disappeared very quickly, much like car phones. Who the heck needs car phones now? Never see a car phone. But they used to be quite the flex of, I have a lot of disposable income, and I can get ca uh, phone calls on the drive. So good for you, dude. That's going to be uh, that's gonna be useful for all of one day, or one year. And then people are going to have the phones in their pockets. It was more than a year, to be fair, but still. Uh, sterilized rags, I can throw it at this point. Um... Right now, I'm grabbing all the tailoring stuff to move that up. Thread and the like. It's yarn. Is Do you do anything with yarn? I don't recall ever using yarn in my life. Actually, in real life, I have a yarn burn. I know that sounds super dumb. But I was, um, when I was a kid... I forget exactly what I was doing, but I distinctly remember the getting the yarn burn. I was like, uh, like whipping something around my head like a like a sling, to to throw it, and the yarn got caught on my finger, and burn burn me pretty good, <laughs> like friction burn. So I have a scar on my my hand here from from yarn. It's really a dumb scar. I just spent an hour cleaning leather strips. My dedication to uh, tailoring 
is S tier. <laughs> Yarn is for starter traps? Is it really? Or is it just flavor? So here's all my tailoring garbage. Uh, I'm going to throw the yarn away because I don't think I actually need yarn. And then the tiny bit of spare clothing I have. Actually, none of the spare clothing right now is leather jackets, which is super irresponsible of me. Definitely keep spare leather jackets. And I think I'm going to be hitting the hay because I am already ridiculously tired. And then tomorrow is farming day. So I have a sack on me for that. Two sacks. I don't think I've found my shovel, though. Yeah, twine is for traps, not uh, not yarn. I knew that much. I don't think I've ever used yarn, though. So is there a shovel anywhere? Or am I going to have to go to the factory for a shovel? I think you can use a trowel to fill dirt bags. But it's been a long time since I've tried it with just a trowel. I think what I'm going to do is uh, move some of the construction materials into its own pile. Because I have a lot of construction materials and that's going to help me a lot. And a lot of electrical junk. But, I don't know. It's getting organized, sort of. Barely. A little bit. Not really. Uh. What was that glitch? Wasn't my shovel upstairs? Was it? Am I just not paying attention? I didn't think I had a shovel upstairs, but I could be wrong. I have a, an axe and a sledgehammer here. But I don't think I ever moved a shovel. So I'll put the building materials in this pile. I'll move the TV later, or when it's voted on. Here we go! Another day survived. So the current goal, start a farm. Start a farm out in the yard. Now one of the things that will be interesting is um, the chopper very well may have shuffled zombies around. So my neighborhood that was sleepy might not be sleepy anymore. So I gotta be careful about that. Oh, I missed a pet Yoda. I am sorry. And my steel, thank you for the bits. Apparently I wasn't paying any attention. An electron engineer followed. Here you go. Not only not only am I gonna make it up, you're gonna get a Yoda cam while I do it. There you go. So am I gonna get back to back choppers? I hope not. <laughs> he is a happy boy. Was was all right. We're good. No air activity. I've never seen it back to back, but I believe it can exist. Wow. I am. What happened? Holy hell! How did I get this board? <laughs> what the heck? What happened, guy? Jesus, dude. Good lord. For real, when did that happen? Spent a whole day cleaning the house and now he's severely depressed and extremely bored. So before I start farming, I think I am going to be required to, uh... <laughs> to do a little self-care. Because Guy is in a rut here. Hey, that is a big red, hey! How you doing, ambiguous amphibian? 
I highly doubt that you need a shout out, but welcome. Um, I'll pu I'll put my puppy cam back on, so you don't have to you don't have to see my face. Uh, what were you up to? You were playing SimCity 3000. Oh my god, that is a throwback. Wonderful. I grew up on SimCity. I'm sure you did too. Harken back to the days of uh, of the traffic jams that couldn't possibly be resolved. How did it go? To fill your raiders in, uh, today, as you can read at the top right of my screen, well not top, but the right of my screen, I'm going to try to start up a farm here in Project Zomboid. Uh, this is Guy Bao. He started off covered head to toe in burns, but he is quite the craftsman, so he has really high XP modifiers for all of the crafting stuff, electrical, metalwork, mechanics, tailoring, carpentry. So he levels up so easily. And I'm living in a parking lot uh, that I kind of built out of a trailer here, a self-built home in Riverside. It's apocalypse difficulty, and I have recurring helicopters, and I was visited by a helicopter just yesterday. So today is a helicopter-free day, so hopefully I'll be able to get the farm started. Yes, a puppy gam. Oh, you're trying to make a... Uh, re recreate Magnus Anti. That's cool. That's a really cool goal. You wish that you had a house like this? You know, it's a pretty nice house. It's pretty ghetto. I mean, it's a, it's a construction trailer converted into a kitchen. But it's functional. It keeps me alive. I'll give you the tour. So here is my bedroom loft storage area. I've got rain barrels here for eventual washer dryers. Although, guy is a pretty dirty dude. So here's my little balcony. Uh, we've got David the Garden Gnome. He guards my base. And I live in this little parking lot. My little swath. I haven't even looked outside since the... Uh, the giant chopper showed up, so it looks like I haven't had any shuffled zombies to me. For the first, like, month and change in this, uh, playthrough, I lived in just, like, a tiny little house on the outskirts of Riverside, but that tiny little house was super haunted. I would have zombies rolling up on me, bashing my doors constantly. Like, ridiculous amounts of zombies trying to swarm me at all times. Um... But Guy here survived the cursed home and persisted. So now what we're doing is we're starting a uh, starting a little garden. So I'm going to take some broccoli. Honestly, I just want potatoes. Like, I'm all about potatoes. I am a human potato, so... Stands to reason. Um, yeah. Let's start that farm. Okay, good. I can take sand. So that means I'll be able to take dirt. I'm still fat. Oh, no, I'm not fat. Ha! I'm not fat, guys. It's the first day of small guy. I was uh, I was very close to, to morbidly obese here with guy, and now I'm down to 85 kilos, so I'm not massive anymore. So I can cheers to that. Guy beat obesity. Yep. He did beat obesity. I think I'm going to go celebrate with an entire pint of ice cream, though. So, he beat obesity, but uh, unfortunately for him, type 2 diabetes is going to get him in the end. <laughs> Hang on. Swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that ice cream. Uh, melted. All. All of it had melted. Whatever. Eat all! <laughs> Gotta celebrate the small things. Or soon to be the big things. Like the ever-growing gut. What? Come on, man. I know it was melted, but that should have made you bored. I feel trolled now. Uh, where do you guys think I should make the farm? Um, so, here's some options. I could do a farm... Where should I build? 
Should I plant uh, sort of behind the house? So west behind the shack? East, uh, east of the shack here in this spot, like a front farm thing. So east front of the house. Or we have already voted on me not having like a rooftop farm for reasons. Or around the porta potty, like a true redneck. What do you guys think? I'll give you two and a half minutes to vote. I'm kind of indifferent. So just type one, two, or three. You could pick, pick where I farm. And then I'm actually going to grab uh, one of each uh, seed packet. So you can pick what sort of farm I make. And I also probably should prep for a rain barrel or two so I can water it more easily. You're glad that I'm still alive? Yeah, man, me too. To fill in some of you raiders, this is my third attempt. My first two attempts ended poorly. One, um, I took off a bandage on my neck and I didn't mean to, it was actually a misclick and I just asanguinated. Without the bandage, I lost all my life and I just died. It was a really pretty hilarious way to die. And then the other way was I just got surrounded by zombies and when you're covered in burns, you actually move slower than zombies, so you can't outrun them. So they just, what I did was I tried to go through a trailer, uh, like a trailer park trailer, and slammed the door behind me with a bunch of zombies following me. And unfortunately, I slammed the door in front of me and died. Uh, it was like a hundredth of a second, uh, but that's all that mattered. I went rip. So, yep, that was, uh, that was Gil. And what was the other one's name? I can't even remember. But they, they have long passed. And today, it's the brain of Guy. Oh, there's my garbage. Uh, so around the porta potty, like a true redneck seems to be winning. I'd be concerned, but I'm not surprised. How do zombie spawns work? Uh, zombies will only spawn in areas that you haven't traveled in for the last 72 hours. So as long as I am near home once every three days, they can't spawn here. So I don't really need to worry about that. All right, so I'm gonna start making rain barrels around the porta potty, and we're gonna celebrate this porta potty like a true redneck. Yeah, I don't know what kind of rain it's gonna be. Rain barrels. Definitely some air quotes there. Let's decide on the crops that I plant. Um, let me let me type up the list here. I'll just grab all the seeds because it didn't really matter. What should I grow? Broccoli? Cabbage? Carrots? So some food is more filling... Some food grows fast, some food grows slow, but yields a lot. Um, but there you go. Give you one minute. I can eventually get everything. It's just, what should I focus on? Cabbage crew, strawberry crew, we'll see. So then the other way to do this is to, uh, where did my dirt bags go? Here they are. Is to pour out dirt bags, and I'm going to give myself, like, rows or columns. So, pour dirt here. Now, the player can't destroy uh, plants by walking on them, but zombies can. So there is a risk of um, 
of farming on bottom level here, where it's entirely possible that um, the zombies, like, trample it to death. But I'll take that risk. I don't mind. Hey, Zeefy, thanks for the resub. Which is best for beating animals? Uh, carrots are pretty good for beating animals. So let's dig some furrows. So I can actually sow some seeds. And I'll probably have uh, different... Each... I don't know if this is a row or a column. But each row or column, whatever you want to call it, will be a different crop. And I can leave this up, a, this pole up a little bit longer to determine. So it looks like strawberries are going to be first. So let's pop open a strawberry packet. And the other, the only other problem is, um, <laughs> I don't, this rain barrel obviously hasn't seen rain yet, so I'm going to have to go get rain, f or water, rather, from the way not close to where I am. But whatever, doesn't matter. I'm okay with that. So here is the strawberries, and I'll get them watered. Up. Oh, come on. Come on, guy. Don't, don't be like this. Climb. Yeah, carrots are like uh, meta trapping power. But what I will say is I found that um, that you divide cabbages better than you divide carrots, so you can trap more with cabbage, whereas you can trap more effectively with carrot. But at the end of the day, I don't, you know, don't really matter. It's all good. So, strawberry, potato, cabbage. All right. Another thing that's interesting is in in PZ, like you don't even need sunlight to grow. You don't. It doesn't even need to technically be outside. Like if you live in a giant factory, you can grow plants inside the factory with no sunlight, and the game doesn't care. It's not that complicated. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up suggestions for what I do tomorrow. So if you have. Ideas of what I should work on tomorrow, start submitting them now, and I'll update the goal to let you all know that that's what I'm collecting. Is that all the water I have? Yep. Oh, this is going to take me a while. I wonder if I take sand and pour it out, will it, like, prevent plant growth? Because that would be... No, it doesn't seem to work. Somehow I can pour sand on sand, and it's a sandception. I like it. So there's my strawberries. I think they need a little bit more watering, and I'm going to do potatoes and cabbage. So I think that's what won in the polls. So if you want me to work on another day of uh, farming, you can vote on that, or whatever else. Oops, I'm using my water bottle. That's not what I meant to do. And I'm going to water these to full, so that they don't require any more water. Another thing I could do, because I don't really care, is fill, because I have so much rainwater, is to fill all of my um, watering cans, just because it's faster, with uh, with potable water, with drinkable water. And not really worry about running out of water, because it's been raining a lot. Now, if memory serves, some plants don't like to be overwatered, like carrots. So actually, there's an argument to be made that um, that it's better to plant carrots indoors. Which I know makes no sense, but it's so that um, it's so that you can uh, tightly control how much water they get, because if they get too much water, they die. 
It's odd, yes, but that's just the way it works. Yeah, carrots and radishes have issues with too much water. So those are the best ones to put inside. But I, I'm not really planning on having inside farms. Like, I'll just hope that they don't get overwatered. The other thing I could do is I could put a, um... Uh, put a little, like, roof trellis thing on it. To prevent them from getting overwatered that way. Yeah, protect carrots from rain, lol. I know, just game mechanics. Game being weird. Just the way it is. Please let me climb. Nice. With Guy losing weight here, he's going to become a better and better climber. Why am I taking dirt off the ground from around the fence? Uh, so that there won't be... It will be... It will take longer for plants to regrow um, right around the fence so that it doesn't block the line of sight. So that it can see better. It doesn't really matter where you take the dirt from. I could be taking it from this strip here. Uh, it's all kind of the same. D as long as you're getting it from somewhere. Some worms. So, potatoes and... Cabbage? Yeah, eventually what will happen once you take dirt is it will grow back, but it takes a long time. So it's kind of a way to fight... Uh, your farms for being overrun by plants, which eventually will block the line of sight, your line of sight, and make it harder for you to, uh, to prevent, uh, vines from creeping up and blocking your vision. Alright, so potato potatoes are next. I'm gonna open two packets. So some ideas of things that you could submit as uh, goals. You could have me get metal pipes for additional storage. That's something I need to do. Uh, search for a new car. Uh, strip more cars. Uh, work on a driveway because eventually my my little plot here will get overwhelmed by, um, by plant growth. Uh, continue farming. Maybe there's something that you think I should build. You know. Or really any project that you want to propose, and let me update that. Farm today. Propose goals for tomorrow. I'm not even sure what the weather report is for tomorrow. Okay, so that's three out of five water. I'll probably be able to f finish the, th the plots that I currently have going right now by the end of the day. Uh, guy here will be exhausted and tired and probably a little miserable, but, you know, whatever. I'm, like, watering the, uh, the farm with, like, Evian right now. <laughs> I'm dumping my water bottles and everything. Doesn't make much sense, but it's all the same water source. Okay, I think that's all done. Now, the only issue that I... Ooh, I can't see that. The only issue that I have is because Guy is such a low-level um, farmer, he doesn't really get a lot of information from his... Uh, from the crops. When you're a higher-level farmer, you can just kind of glance at it and, and check to see its water level or whether it's diseased or whatever. But as a really low-level farmer, I get basically no information at all, uh, which means... 
that I need to inspect each individual tile until I level up. So it's it's very labor intensive early early game. Gets a lot easier later game though. Definitely a lot easier. Premium water. Yep. That's pretty much what it is. High quality premium water. Ah. Oh. oh, posture check. Got it. That helped out. One of the things I actually find pretty useful when you're trying to water a lot is to drop your water bottles so you don't even use them. Only use the high volume uh, watering cans because it will take less time. You might become a little dehydrated, but it just makes the whole process a, little, a lot faster. Pet Yoda, you got it. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here, cutie. Yeah, thankfully leveling farming is easy. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. One of the easiest to level. Just harvest crop. That is it. So if you have any ideas of what I should work on, uh, submit them now, because I'm about to pull for it, for tomorrow. And in like a week or two, we're going to have some crops. So put the watering cans down. Pick my water balls back up. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Guy on Fire, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. If you would like to join me in a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, and you can also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash 5186 Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel when you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.